Well, I, okay, I, I guess you guys win. I exalted a one class. When I say I was excited for this class to be released, dear god, please trust me on this one. When it comes to video games, I'm usually the type of guy to play what's closest to a mage type character. It's actually a really common theme in my case. In RPG games such as Trove, I found most of my enjoyment in the Tomb Raider and the Ice Mage. When Craft, I played the Dark Mage for a very, very long time before I switched to the Assassin. My League of Legends mains are primarily mages with a hint of AD carry thrown into the mix. My Brawlhalla main before I quit the game was Fate, and my second main in Smash Ultimate is Robin. Right behind Lucas, of course. <laughs> Though since I've already exalted all of the relevant mage-esque characters in the available roster and realm, I was searching for meaning. What I was to do after exalting my third character. Nope, just exalting another character, yeah! So you're looking to exalt Summoner. Completely understandable, it is an amazing class. Judging that Summoner was released mid-semester for me, you know me, I was focusing on school, I didn't have time to exalt the character. Wait, weren't you the ninth person to fully exalt the class? Um, okay, it would have been worse if I was the first person to exalt, cut me some slack here. I mean, you got everything you need from the get-go, you make your character and you're equipped with the Tears of Wand and the Paintbrush. I'm pretty sure the entire design philosophy of the summoner was just to be a large intertextual reference. Like, um, it's that bear from Open Season? God fuck, that was an awful film. Uh, and then we got, uh, Durroach from the Kirby series? Surely? Uh, I'm- you know what, I'm not even gonna say this one. I'm not gonna say it. You like jazz? No! Uh, then we got- wait. Wait. Alright, so what made me want to exalt this character? I'm gonna take us all the way back to about 2-3 months ago. I had an epiphany in the shower and I thought to myself, with the summoner coming out and the guild at an all time low, I think it's time to shake it up a little. And it actually turned out really well. There was a whole lot of engagement, we had a prize pool of about $200 and a bunch of ST chests up for grabs. I'll quickly show a small portion of the rulebook video that I made in celebration of the contest. Hello content members and Tyler Chu, I welcome you to the content summoner PPE rulebook video. Alright, first off, how it will work is that it's a point based system. Whichever team has the highest amount of points by the end of April wins. I'm going to blitz through the point system real quick. Reduction of 10 points, exaltations of 5 points per stat increase. Okay. Anything adding slash subtracting to points must be logged in the channels that were made for you. Your partners? And that's basically it. Good luck gamers. We'll probably end up doing another competition for the release of the next character, so if you want to join the guild, I mean nothing's stopping you from sending an application with the link that is in the description of this video, you know, you know. So you may be asking yourself, what is considered an end goal set for the summoner? Well look no further, there's actually multiple ways you can go about it really. But here's how I built mine. Lumiere and Wonder the Fallen for my ones. Lumi is great for clearing bosses, though it's not so amazing for wave clear because of how slow the shots are, hence why I opt for a normal shot speed high damage wand such as the Fallen. For my choice of mace, I main the Incubation Mace. If you don't know why, I'm just going to assume you've been living under a rock your whole life. For my choice of robe, I go for the Diplomatic Robe. The Summoner doesn't particularly require mana if you're actively trying to stay out of combat, so opting for the Diplomatic Robe is good because it grants pretty dandy stats for the most part. <laughs> I'll explain it simply because I'm sure nobody actually fucking cares. Vestral Duality has a refresh every 5 seconds for a near permanent uptime. Incubation Mace comes up in increments of 2.6 to 2 seconds, and you could probably imagine how much of a nightmare it is reshuffling these incubation rabbits and it just leads to a whole mess of cooldowns. It's really, really not worth the hassle. Yeah, it's a bit of an exaggeration, I don't hate the Vesture, I just massively prefer the Diplomatic Robe and Tier 15. I think it's an awesome robe, but the negative defense could be a lot more risky than you think, and with a class like Summoner needing to take care of the Micromancer, management of its summons and dodging, it's best to reduce the risk of dying. You'll also find that a lot of top players also opt for Diplomatic Rope 2 when it comes to most rogue classes with the exception of Bard. What do I like most about this class? Well, for starters, the stats are just, oh, Chef's kiss. Honestly, immaculate. For the trade-off as not having as much attack as the Sorcerer, the class trumps pretty much every other class in the game in terms of dexterity. Of course, with the exception of dagger classes, Wizard, and God himself. I mean, just look at the shot speed. Okay, what else do I like about the Summoner? Well, of course, it's one of the few classes in the game that actually have a moderately high skill ceiling. Another great example of a class like this would probably be the Ninja and the Trickster in terms of maximizing damage. The Incubation Maze is something that requires quite a lot of thinking and micromanagement if you really want to make the most effective use out of it because of the invulnerability frames. They can be quite the bitch sometimes. You know, I actually can't think of anything I dislike about the class. 
Actually, no, may maybe a couple. Arguably, one of the most optimal ways to play this class is by having your summon control on left click, where you actually have to go into your Windows registry edit to change that setting. Secondly, if you've played this class in the void, you'll know exactly where I'm going with this. The void entity is just the worst. The moment this guy goes into a sonic phase, your summons don't even have the speed to catch up. You'd think that this would be the optimal time to equip the B-Mace because they follow you, but nope. The B-Mace doesn't really have much practical use anywhere because of how slow and spread out the shots actually are. Wait, saying that, I actually did find some pretty good use whilst clearing fungal caverns and the shatters. Not that the shatters matter as much anymore because it's getting reworked soon, but you know, you get the idea. It's actually kind of sad because the premise of this item is actually just terrific, yet it hasn't been executed well at all. From what I remember, the item was actually desirable on public testing, though it was toned down with its introduction onto live servers. In conclusion, the summoner is a very, very fun class to play. Really good learning curve, fun UTs, and overall just a blast to play. If this video made you start exalting the class, please shoot me a message in game or on Discord, it would honestly mean the world to me. Until next time, Time, friends. Uh, testing, testing, one, two, three. The day is the 18th of May. I'm doing the audio recording for So You're Looking to Exalt Summoner. So you may be asking yourself, Ephra, what is considered a- Ugh, that's really corny. Fuck. For my choice of robe, I usually go for the ve- No, not- <laughs> I usually go for the- uh... I actually haven't done much testing with this microphone. It's like, what does it sound like if I'm like, if I'm like, right, right here? Hello.